Good Friday. Man, I have put this video off a long time. I meant to make this video months ago. Why am I making this video? What are these salt and pepper shakers? Why is it called a third shaker set? Uh, it's called a third shaker set because we have an accent shaker here. Salt, pepper, and accent. If you're collecting these because you love 50s memorabilia, you're good. Way back when, I wasn't ready to buy these. So I made my own large salt and pepper shakers out of uh, dashi, little dashi bottles. And I love them. I love how they feel in the hand. You can put whatever hole patterns you want. I used 1 16th of an inch drill, drilled from behind. These are like my favorite. Plus, you take the lid off and you can put a measuring spoon in there. Pretty cool. But I digress. We have an issue. That's why we're making this video. This is a public service announcement. If you're collecting these because you think these were on I Love Lucy, you're wrong. Pfft, how could that be? You can find these on 50slucy.com, I think. They look like they were in I Love Lucy. Show a picture. Now what's really funny is that picture is from a colorized version of I Love Lucy and they're gray. The tops are gray. Let's correct that. There you go. But we have to take a closer look at these. If you're collecting for I Love Lucy, these are not the ones you want and the ones you want aren't easy to find even though there's one on eBay right now, I believe. What do I mean by that? Let's take a look at a print ad. Notice, they look the same, but they're not the same. Look at the lids. If you look really closely, you see a dividing line in the lids. The ones that appeared on I Love Lucy, the caps remove. It has a fixed part of the cap and the top part removes. Now, pro and cons to both of these. These are the ones commonly thought to be the ones on I Love Lucy. Let's look at the real ones. Before we look at the real ones, let's look at the hole patterns. The holes are large, but they're not, they're not small, but they're not that large, okay? However, this really will pour out. Hole pattern is slightly different on the pepper. And the accent, the holes are much larger. I mean, it just pours out. The range in Isle of Lucy was huge, and you had room to put these on the range. Today's modern stoves are kind of smaller. Harder to find room for these. But I digress. There you go. These are the ones you want. The lid comes off. Salt, and there are no holes on top. The holes aren't that big. The salt isn't coming out quite as much. These lids can warp, these old ones, but they can be polished with Mother's Mag. Both of these can be polished with Mother's Mag because it's a hard plastic. Pretty cool. These are the ones from the show. Pepper, a lot more holes. But these lids also keep it fresh. These are exposed to the air. So if you don't use them up right away, you're going to have kind of stale pepper or stale MSG. These, the holes are even bigger and it just pours out. Get your accent. Makes food flavors sing. These are not easy to find. And the one that is on eBay right now, I think the lid is warped. Pretty cool though, right? My I Love Lucy public service announcement. I still love these better though. They're not as big. They take up less room. My favorite salt and pepper shakers. Thanks for joining me this Friday. You know what I'm gonna say? What am I gonna say? Thanks for watching.